What is good everybody and welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I am going to be showing you how my WWE figures in my collection are displayed. I'm just going to give you a quick run through of this shelf right here and then that shelf over there. So I'm not going to get into too much detail, just sort of show you a run through of the shelf and what each shelf um, individually represents, you know, why they're shelved that way, which figures they are, and stuff like that. I'm going to save my in-depth review of my uh, whole room. My, like, I'm going to do a full room tour, give you the arena rundown, show you every figure in my collection, exactly how they are, and everything like that. So if you want to see that video, please let me know down in the comment section below. I planned on doing that maybe um, the day before the end of the year, maybe December 31st or something like that. Maybe make that the yearly tradition or something like that. But today I'm just going to give you a rundown of these shelves. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. Alright guys, starting out at the top we have the Dolph Ziggler Collection shelf right here. Um, all of these are elites. I'm not going to give you a full detailed look, just sort of a glance through right there. So the top shelf is Dolph Ziggler's. So happy he won the U.S. Championship last night at Clash of Champions. Freaking amazing. So happy for that. Right here we do have my John Cena armband that I caught at SmackDown Live that me and Face Wife went to. Moving on down, we do have the MDT Live roster shelf right here. We have the MDT Champion Edge right there. Um, we have the Extreme Champion RVD, the Tag Team Champion Shield, and then the US Champion Dean Ambrose, and then the New Day up front. Um, here is a little run through of the roster. Again, I'm not going to give you a full detailed look. Moving on down below that, we have the Vindication roster shelf right here. Um, some notables, we got the Elite Champion Kenny Omega up front. We have Balor Club's jacket right there. We got Finn Balor's jacket because um, he was buried by the Bullet Club. As you know, if you watch the Pick Fed, you do know that uh, we don't have Finn Balor anymore. He got killed, so his jacket is all that remains. Here is a little run through of the roster. And then up front, we have the Iron Man champion, Braun Strowman. A few other notables, Jack Gallagher, Aleister Black, Bullet Club chilling right there. Revolutionary champion, Miz, right there. Going on down. Moving on down, guys, we have all of my Kevin Owens elites besides the one on the Vindication shelf right there. Um, that one in the back does have a Cesaro head scan on it, and don't even ask why that is. Right here, we have all of my Sami Zayn's and El Generico right there. So I have five of those if you include the one that is right here on the Vindication shelf. So there's my Sami Zayn's right here. We have one of my favorites of all time, Chris Jericho and all of his elites. Then right here, we have my massive Triple H collection, as you see. Um, I don't know how many elites that is, but I have a ton of Triple H's. Moving on down, we have just some random figures. You see all the Kurt Angles right there. And then just a bunch of random figures, usually uh, usually just used for display. Nothing, um, nothing pick-fed related or anything like that. I usually come down here if I want to tear apart a figure and make it um, into something else. And then here in the middle, we have a bunch of boxes just going all down through there. On top, we have some Rey Mysterios. We got the Money in the Bank MDT briefcase right there, which will probably be the next pay-per-view for the Pick Fed will be Money in the Bank. And I'm not going to go through these bins right now. That will be for the full collection video. And then starting out over here, guys, you got the other shelf over there. Coming across, we have all of my John Cena's, which is my prized possession of my collection. This is not even close to near of them. This may be like a third of them I have, like, I don't know if we can see it from here. Maybe if we, I don't know if you can tell right there. You see that big box? It's all full of John Cena elites. So that is where all the Cena's are. So that's the top shelf. Belongs to the goat right so there, So as John we move Cena. down from the Cena's, guys, we have my Rey Mysterio and Randy Orton collections. Um, you see all of the Rey Mysterio elites right there. Then right here we have all of my Randy Orton's. I don't know if you can see all of the Randy Orton's right there. You see the depth of it. So many Randy Orton's. There's like seven or eight uh, Elite 49's right there. If you look through there. Coming on down we have my Dean Ambrose collection there. Kane collection. Seth Rollins. I had to move this one over here because you see all of these sets. They would not fit anymore so I had to go over into the Batista collection. Over here we have Brock Lesnar. And then right here we have all of my takers. I do have a Seth Rollins that's on the MDT Live shelf. So that is the one that is missing from over here. Moving on down, we have my Stone Cold collection. CM Punk, Roman Reigns, Edge, Sting, and Shawn Michaels. And there you can see the depth through all of those collections. ton of Stone Colds, Romans, Edges. 
And then on the bottom shelf, whoops, I don't know how to count, guys. Uh, second to last shelf, we have Benoit, we have Lita, The Rock, Cesaro with his head missing. I guess that's where the head came from on that Kevin Owens. Macho Man, Daniel Bryan, and John Morrison. And then down here we have, just like the other bottom shelf, just a bunch of random figures that uh, I've accumulated. Uh, I actually sold that Rusev, so I need to be getting that out to ship. But yeah, guys, that is my full collection, both of them. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a run-through again. I want to do a full room tour, but I guess I can wait until uh, the end of the year again to give you guys, you know, the full rundown, get detailed into it, go through all of those bins right there give you a full look of the entire arena, give you a detailed look and all that jazz. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy this sort of different style video, showing you guys my collection that is displayed on there, showing you how it is all up in the room. But thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. MDT Champion.